In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear leaf spring bump stop on the Chevy Silverado. You'll have two of these, one on each side of your frame directly above your rear differential. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Make your way safely under the vehicle. We're going to be looking for our leaf spring jaunts bumper. Looking up in this area directly above the rear differential on the frame, you're going to find it. On ours, it's broken. The majority of it's missing. You can see the base here. We're going to have to make our way just above it up inside this port so we can remove our mounting nut. Now I can feel up inside this area, there's a whole bunch of debris. Go ahead and clean up that mess. We're just gonna scrape it away and then use some compressed air. You can use a small plastic scraper for this. Use some penetrant in this area, let it sit and do its job. We'll use a 15 millimeter in this area to remove the mounting nut. When you start loosening this, you will find that the base will come loose from the frame. You can hold it in place with some locking pliers if necessary. Just give that a quick inspection, set it aside. Ours is rusted in place. We'll use a small hammer and give it a tap to break it free. And there's what's left to it, friend. Let's give the mounting point a quick clean. Inspect up in this area, Does still get some debris. We can use some sandpaper down in this area. Okay friend, let's get ready for installation of our brand new bumper. Looking at this, you can see that you have the mounting stud, and then you'll also have a small locating tab. If you were to look at the frame, I have it marked in yellow. We have the area for that mounting stud that goes up through our port, and then just to the rear of that, you have another port for that small tab. Let's get this aligned properly. You can see my tab there. Now, if you're misaligned, you're sitting like this, you can tell it's not gonna be seated properly and you're going to have an issue. Now that we're sure we're flush with the frame, we'll continue on with our mounting nut. Just start that on by hand and snug it up. At this point, my base is not secured to the frame. You can either hold it by hand or hold it in place with some locking pliers. Just be careful not to damage it. Okay, right there's bottomed out. We don't want to break anything. We just want to make sure it's nice and snug. Take hold of the assembly, give it a wiggle, make sure it's completely secured to the frame of your vehicle. Okay, friend, we finished our installation. At this point, go over to the other side of the vehicle and repeat the process. When you do these, it's a good idea to replace them as a pair. After that, make your way out from front of the vehicle and take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.